World of Warcraft. There, I said it. Please don't run off just yet. 3-3, three, three, uh, repeating of course. Percentage of survival. Well, that's a lot better than we usually do. Uh, All right, thumbs up. Ready, guys. Let's or... do this. Leroy Dragons. Oh my God, he just ran in. Whether you like it or not, WoW has been at the forefront of one of the most lucrative industries this world currently has to offer: the gaming industry. And it has completely defined the massively multiplayer online role-playing game genre. Wow, that's a that's a lot of words. Let's just try MMORPG. To ignore it out of some stupid, misdirected nerd hate would be idiotic. Nerd! Millions of people have played the game. I challenge you to find a single person that hasn't at least heard of it. World of Warcraft. 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 Countless others like myself used to play the game all the time. Keywords. Used to. Oh, oh, sorry, they don't release subscription information anymore because they're embarrassed about the numbers. That's right, everyone, World of Warcraft is dying. Who you all gonna make fun of now? And it's not because of some cataclysm, but because of a storm, and not just any storm. A blizzard. <laughs> all right, all right, relax, everyone. I already hate myself enough for all of you combined. Yes, Blizzard, the developers of the game. First developers, developers, developers. Now, to be fair, Blizzard is likely not the only reason that the game is on the decline. There could be a number of contributing factors, such as, quote, the aging population of the game, or, quote, the decline of the MMORPG genre. This could very well lead to the end of the world of Warcraft. No! No! On the other hand, I and many other players would put forth that the newer iterations of the game are just not as hard as the original. Let me set the scene for you. <clears throat> In the before times, players would have to ask strangers for help when completing quests, fighting bosses, running dungeons, or tackling raids. Even after gathering these friends, the enemies would still prove challenging to even the most experienced players. Sounds fun, right? That feeling you get when you meet someone new that has struggled, like you, to overcome the very same obstacles? When you complete your challenging goal thanks to your new friends, that's called rewarding. But, as the years went on, Blizzard started adding these state-of-the-art features to the game, making it more accessible and easier to navigate. In today's World of Warcraft, the game finds teammates for you, eliminating that community feeling. And the bosses, dungeons, quests, and raids, well, you can pretty much do them all by yourself. That feeling you have when not talking to anyone, while completing a relatively mundane task that you and your fellow player has no vested interest in? That's called depressing. These new technologies implemented by Blizzard were meant to encourage interconnectivity, but left your average player feeling more sad and lonely than ever. Does that sound like another world that we know? To the disdain of many classic players like myself, Blizzard is adamant in their position that taking the game forward and away from its old and challenging ways is the correct direction. Luckily for us old-timers, there exists a passionate few who saved us from Blizzard's empirical grasp. Ah, private servers. Illegal as hell, but if you're not breaking the rules, then you're not having fun, am I right? Some coders created Nostalrius, a server with all of the classic game files and all of their classic glory. But the best part? Blizzard was nowhere to be seen. It was going great. Everyone was playing. Me, you, your aunt, your dog, your Pokemon, that guy George from down the street. It hosted upwards of a million people. The game was great again, and that's all that really mattered. Nostalrius reignited a flame of interest for the MMORPG genre. The server is a classic WoW player, Neverland, and forever and always will be our home.
Just kidding. No happy endings in corporate America. Blizzard recently filed a cease and desist against the owners of Nostalries. The servers were shut down within a week, and Blizzard has been suffering huge backlash from the fans. We felt the need to escape reality because new media has made our lives too streamlined and boring. When we lost our connections with other people in reality, we took to the game to make us feel together again. WoW is dying because the game is becoming too streamlined and boring, like our real lives. We are losing our connections with our online friends, and we seek something else that will simulate community again. To make matters worse, Blizzard shut down a remix of their work that could have revitalized the MMORPG genre. Because I guess if WoW's going down, then so is everybody. Blizzard, if you want to crush the competition, then fine. Make a world where we can play the fantasy of who we've always wanted to be, without the shortcuts that should remain exclusive to real life. The more unlike the reality we're trying to escape your game is, the better it becomes. I thank you.